Okay, Vicky, you understand what I showed you and the philosophy of chess? I understand. It's in my computer. Okay. White goes first. Your move. Go. Checkmate. <laughs> what do you mean, checkmate? That's only five moves. If you program me correctly, I could do it in four. <laughs> Everybody's a critic, huh? Can't you make a few teeny weeny mistakes? No, I'm programmed to win. I'll fix that. Stand up and turn around. <laughs> You know how humiliating it is for a robot to beat its inventor? Hmm? Dad, you coming out to play some one-on-one -on -one with me? Uh, not right now, Jamie. And don't bounce that in here. One-on-one, -on -one, that's not in my memory bank. It's a way to play basketball. You know what that is? Basketball, a sporting event used to fill television time between commercials. <laughs> I taught her that. <laughs> it's also a game you play outside, Jamie. <clears throat> All right, turn around, sit down. I'll get you this time. How about working on the clubhouse later, Dad? Uh, sorry, Jamie, I'll be working with Vicky. But gee, the only time we get to work on it is on weekends. Well, maybe next weekend, huh? There's your mother. Why don't you go see if you can help her? Not you, him. You don't have a mother, remember? I'm beginning to feel like I don't have a father. Okay, Vicky, you're white. Your move, go. Uh -huh. Checkmate. <laughs> that was only four moves. Now I'm programmed correctly. <laughs> Hi, honey. Oh, I saw the cutest clothes in the stores for Vicky. I was so tempted, Ted. Honey, uh, little girl robots don't need wardrobes. No, but big girl wives do. <laughs> anyway, I just couldn't resist buying Vicky these gloves. Oh, huh? yeah, those are cute. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you unscrew one of her hands and see if they fit? <laughs> it's not funny, Jamie. That's not funny. How about the paint I asked you to get for my clubhouse, Mom? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I forgot. I was so busy. Nobody thinks about anything but Vicky anymore. By the time I get that clubhouse finished, it'll have to be big enough for my wife and kids. <laughs> Jamie. Oh, now let me show you what I got for the big girl. On sale, of course. Honey, huh? honey, the way to a man's heart is through the kitchen, not through a department store. So I took a little detour. <laughs> oh, looks like she's got you, Ted. Huh? What? If you came over here to pester me to play with you, forget it. I'm not that desperate. <laughs> I didn't come to ask you to play with me. Aw, oh, too bad. I always enjoy turning you down. <laughs> I just came over to find out what was in those boxes your mom brought home. You're sure nosy. I call it keeping informed. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Lawson. Oh, hi, Harriet. Move, 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 move. How's everything at home? got a new parrot. That's nice. No, it's not. I wanted a canary. <laughs> then why didn't you get one? Because when my mother went to the pet store, the parrot talked her out of it. <laughs> Harriet, why don't you go home and teach your parrot to sing like a canary? <laughs> hey, I never thought of that. Thanks. <laughs> How about working on the clubhouse, Dad? Oh, sorry, Jamie. I just came out to get something. Can't wait for this afternoon. This afternoon? Have you forgotten what you said? Well, of course not, Jamie. I just can't remember what it is right now. <clears throat> you said you were going to take me to the horror matinee at the movies. Oh, right. They're showing two gory pictures and a gory cartoon. They're even putting red butter on the popcorn. <laughs> Well, maybe next weekend, Jamie. I, I've just got to work with Vicky. Vicky, Vicky, Vicky. I might as well be invisible. Oh, sorry, Jamie. I didn't see you. 
I am invisible. <laughs> Boy, for a robot, you sure get plenty of attention. I get plenty of attention. Don't rub it in. I used to like you. When Dad first brought you home, I thought you were fun. Fun. <laughs> well, it's not fun now. Mom and Dad used to have time for me and treated me like I was special and bought me presents. Now you get gloves and I get dumped on. You get dumped on? Do you have to repeat everything I say? You're like Harriet's parrot. <laughs> parrot, a tropical feathered bird with a distinctive hooked bill. Yeah, and you're an unfeathered hunk of plastic with a big mouth. <laughs> On account of you, I'm a rejected child. Stick that in your computer. <laughs> Rejection, the result of being refused or rebuffed. Yeah, but you'll never know what it's like, because you can't feel anything. Yes, I can feel like this. <laughs> Stop that! I mean, feelings inside. Boy, I'm as bad as Charlie Brown and Peanuts. <laughs> peanuts, pods containing two or three nuts, usually eaten with beer. <laughs> No, no, no. You're not as smart as Dad thinks you are. Peanuts is a comic strip, and Charlie Brown gets stumped on by everybody. Lucy, Linus, Schroeder. I'll bet even Snoopy his dog wets on his foot. <laughs> I'm not programmed to do that. <laughs> you don't even know what it means. I ought to do what Charlie did in this one story. He decided to teach everybody a lesson by running away. Running away? Right. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And boy, will they miss me when I'm gone. Vicky, come here and switch on your tape recorder. Testing, one, two, three, testing. Play it back, Vicky. Testing, one, two, three, testing. Play it back, Vicky. <laughs> Good. Dear Mom and Dad, how are you? I'm fine. No, that's too friendly. Erase that, Vicky, and rewind. I am rewinding. If I wouldn't, I could lie in the circus, but I'm not that. <laughs> I'm finished. Okay, start recording. Dear, to whom it may concern, by the time you hear this, I will be gone forever. Maybe I'll find happiness with a family who will appreciate a son who is kind, loving, Courteous, has a lot of personality, and no cavities. Yes. <laughs> Jamie, come on, breakfast is ready. Jamie? He's not here. Not here? Come on out, Vicky. Where did he go? Out. Out where? Out there. He went out the window? Yes, and fell on his behind. <laughs> well, why on earth would he go out the window? Did he say why? He left a message on my tape recorder. A message? Well, play it back. Dear to whom it may concern, by the time you hear this, I will be gone forever. Gone forever? Stop, Vicky. Hey, what's the holdup? Let's have breakfast, huh? How do we eat at a time like this? Huh? Time when you hear the tone, the time will be 9 12 a.m. Stop, Vicky. What do you mean at a time like this? Jamie's run away. What? W play the rest of his message, Vicky. Maybe I'll find happiness with a family who'll appreciate a son who is kind, loving, courteous, has a lot of personality, and no cavities. <laughs> Don't try to find me because I won't be there. You don't care anyway, because you've only got time for your perfect little girl. So that's it. Goodbye forever. Signed, your former loving son, Jamie. The end. <laughs> uh, Vicky, did Jamie say where he was going? He did not say. Well, he tells you everything. Why not this? He said he'd worm it out of me. Oh. Oh. Well, let's not just stand here. Let's go out and look for him. Uh, what am I doing? 
Honey, <clears throat> the important thing now is to just stay calm. All little boys run away once in their lives. I did. I'm sure he's just hiding. You look around here, I'll check in the basement. Stay calm, huh? We don't have a basement. Oh. Well, that's uh, one less place we have to look. <clears throat> uh, Vicky, get in your cabinet. Get in my cabinet. All right. When you ran away, where did you go? Oklahoma. Oklahoma? Oh, no! No, not the state, the movie! <laughs> with my doll? <laughs> no, get out of here, Harriet. How'd you know I was up here? It's my woman's intuition. <laughs> and I also saw you climb up. Oh, please, go away. Are you playing hide and seek? Hide and seek. Yeah, that's it. I think I'll tell Vicky where you're hiding. You do and you'll have to seek your teeth. <laughs> I don't have to stand here and get threatened. I can stay home and do that. I'll check the yard. You look in the garage. Okay. He's not there, Ted. Are you sure you looked all around, including up and down? Yes, and I'm starting to get worried, honey. Did you look up in the attic? Way up? Oh, uh, yes, I did look way up. A and I, I feel so guilty about this. I, I didn't realize that Jamie felt neglected. Yeah. Now we, we might never have the chance to tell him how much we love him. Uh, yes, yeah. and how special he is to us. Yeah. You know, I can't believe that he ran away. And on the very day we were having his favorite breakfast, <laughs> chili dogs with onions, fries, chips, and root beer. <laughs> For breakfast? Joan. If, if only he'd come back. I, I would never nag him to clean up his room again. I'd finish working on that clubhouse. Maybe raise his allowance. Maybe get him a little pony. <laughs> Let's not get carried away, Joan. But it's too late, honey. We can only hope that one day we don't get a postcard that says, having a wonderful time. Glad you're not here. <laughs> Maybe if they suffer a little more, I'll get a motorbike out of it. Uh, well, thank goodness he's all right. I told you there was nothing to worry about. I know, but 11 years ago when I said that I thought I was pregnant with Jamie, you're the same guy who said, it's probably just a little gas. <laughs> yeah, I said that, didn't I? I'm glad I was wrong. If it wasn't for Jamie, we wouldn't know what to do for aggravation. True. Oh, honey, I figured it was better not to let him know that we saw him up there. Now, he pretended to run away because we hurt his feelings. And if we forced him to come back, well, we just might hurt his pride, too. Mm, I agree. I'm sure he'll come down on his own real soon. Mm, what if we're wrong and he doesn't? Then what do we do? Oh, simple. I'll just go up to the clubhouse and kill him. <laughs> Vicky, it's Jamie. Are you in your cabinet? I'm in my cabinet. Well, come on out. Come over here and keep your voice down. Keep my voice down. <laughs> no, I mean, don't talk loud. Straighten up. If my parents worry a little longer, they'll appreciate me more. But I'm hungry, and I want you to bring me something to eat. It's the least you can do after all the unhappiness you caused me. Unhappiness I caused you. Go into the kitchen and get me some milk and cookies and bring them to the clubhouse. Milk and cookies to the clubhouse. And bring me two chili dogs. Two chili dogs. And be careful, my mom's chili can burn a hole in your shirt. <laughs> oh, better wait till mom and dad are in the room. Then go into the kitchen and put the food in my gym bag, okay? Go into the kitchen and put food in gym bag. Good. See ya. See ya. Oh, 
Better make that three chili dogs. <laughs> if I'm sick, I'll get more sympathy. <laughs> Put food in gym bag, now go into the kitchen. Don't tell me she's running away from home, too. No. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky, you're supposed to be in your cabinet. You're supposed to be in your room. <laughs> Milk, cookies. I need three chili dogs. Three chili dogs? What are you doing, Vicky? Going out to take this food to Jamie. Well, that explains the chili dogs. Okay, Vicky. Take him the food, but you didn't see us. I didn't see you. And I didn't see three chili dogs. <laughs> Honey, how long do you think he plans to stay out there? Oh, not long. How can you be so sure? He didn't ask for the television set. <laughs> That's it, Vicky. One foot up and then the other. Here, grab this. Hurry up so they don't see you. There, now you're programmed to climb up a ladder. Boy, I'm starved. Where's the chili dogs? I did not see any chili dogs. How do you like that? They lie to me when I'm not even around. <laughs> well, you better get back in your cabinet. Back in my cabinet? Go around the house to my room and climb in through the window and fast. Fast. minute. What's the matter with us? She's not a little girl. She's a robot. A robot can't die. The worst it can do is rust. <laughs> she's, she's alive. I mean, uh, she's working again. Oh, great. Oh, I guess I just love her so much I freak out she's not human. <laughs> Vicky, are you okay? <laughs> Uh, her circuits are just shaken up. Oh. I'll fix her in the house. And we'll have a talk with you, young man, about running away. Yeah. And can we do it some other time since I'm so broken up over Vicky? <laughs> like when I graduate from college? <laughs> Hi. Goodbye. <laughs> What's the matter with Vicky? Why was he carrying her? Oh, uh, she was playing with me and she twisted her ankle. She was playing with you? I thought you didn't like girls. I don't like girls, but I'm crazy about Vicky. <laughs> My mother was right. They are a weird family. <laughs> well, Vicky's back to normal. Fortunately, no parts were broken. Yeah, she just had a loose connection where her gizzards ought to be. <laughs> where my kids are ought to be. Uh, now, everybody sit down. Breakfast is ready. Well, Jamie, I hope you learned something from this. You almost lost Vicky because of your jealousy. And jealousy can make people do terrible things. I know that now, Dad. And there is no reason to be jealous. Just because your father and I can't spend every minute with you, it doesn't mean that we don't love you. Yeah? Are you gonna punish me for pretending to run away? Well, I think the scare over Vicky just might be punishment enough, huh? Oh, yeah! <laughs> I could wake up tomorrow morning and my hair could be all white. Yeah, or you could be bald. 
Here we are. Breakfast is served. Oh, oh boy! Chili dogs! <sighs> Not for me. I got heartburn just fixing them. Ah, what the heck. I'll live dangerously. Now, don't get them all over yourselves, fellas. Be careful. Mom's chili can burn a hole in your shirt. <laughs> I did not program that in. <laughs> She's a small wonder, lovely and bright and soft curves. She's a small wonder, a child. You, she'll enchant you at her sight. She's a small.